give our lungs more of an advantage. More of an advantage to take in the oxygen by keeping more alveoli open. So we know alveoli. We're handling social distancing in our training environment by utilizing online training. We break our students up in half as well for their labs and their examinations because those things can't be done online. And we found a great improvement and it works well for our program. Basically, you adapt and overcome. You're going to have to take all the precautions that you need to take. We are wearing masks, obviously. We have to wear gloves. Uh, in and out of rooms, we're going to do uh, hand sanitizing. They try to mitigate the groups down to at least like three to four people at a time in a room, so that way we're learning as much as we can. We can ask as many questions while keeping the distance from each other. The biggest thing that we're trying to do to fight the disease here is prepare our students to not only be respiratory therapist practitioners, but to be more educators. We have a lot of students here that are NCOs, and this is not their first time being leaders or educators. So what we're doing, we're utilizing their experience as a leader, and we're incorporating respiratory knowledge, and we're hoping that the students get to their location, and they reinforce their staff around them, the nurses and the docs, with this education that they have. It's making it easier for a lot of us because we have a lot more time to really study on our own. It's taking away the stress that you have too many people in one room, so we're able to be in a place where we're comfortable at and we can do whatever studying we need to do. It's, it's a lot better for us.